Ooh wee! How's it going everyone? Abysmal here. I apologize for the quality of this video. I'm not going to be able to put things in audacity like I used to. So if my voice sounds a little bow, uh, I do apologize. In terms of that, I do need to insert a ooh, very quick run. So let's see how this lost run is going to treat us. Last time it was very really good. Oh, we automatically started with nine lives. I'm not exactly sure if that's for the seed or if I got Eden's blessing the last time. I really don't know, um, but we'll see here. Oh, well, we do have Holy Mantle, so these are free. We need to be checking these. Obvious. I'm going to try to do a very quick run to the... What do you call that? The Lamb. It's not going to be an easy one, but definitely a run. Yo, I almost got dinked. I'm not going to stand over the hole there because I think they can still spawn. Holy shit. That heart almost body blocked me. Uh, hope y'all have been having a very good start to your week. It is the start of the new month and it is also my father's birthday. Happy birthday, dad. Uh, I'll be calling him in a moment here. But in terms of that, I also swore on my life yesterday that I would have the podcast out tonight. Well, uh, I'm retracting my statement. I'm going to slurp that back in into my mouth and say that I will be getting it out tomorrow um, as of the 12th because I still need to edit it together and get it all set up. Uh, I want to say secret rooms above here. Stupid. Of course it wouldn't be. I like my drift. But uh, yeah, the Podcast going to be coming out here and tomorrow. In terms of that, I kind of wanted to preface it for y'all. Not sure how old y'all are, things like that. But I am in my 20s, and my father is going into his uh, mid-50s. There's there's obviously a generational gap, him being my father. Um, but more than that, I feel like there's a big gap between, say, like, I don't know. Say boomers to Gen Z. It's probably stupid, but I want to eat this pill. Come on, I was gonna eat a pill. You couldn't give me the money? Um, but with that being said, this podcast is kind of in celebration of that. Me and my dad have very different point of views, despite him being my father. To an extent, but I also like to preface that way. We are very similar in some manners. And me writing my book about him is kind of way of um, exploring that. I kind of feel like in today's media, things like that, it's kind of easier to celebrate our differences, make a new character that isn't looking like you or looks like other people. Or just having a new writer for the sake of them being different than the normal curve. Something along those lines. Wow, what a poo-poo item. And I couldn't get money for that pill, so... We very shitty first floor. Well, that all that being said, keep an open mind when going into my, me and my father's podcast. We talk about probably things you've already heard before, but he's also from a different time. You have to understand. So things that he sees are like, I don't know, not politically correct, or I would say that politically correct. He doesn't view things as politically correct or not. There just is and isn't. So he might say things that you might not agree with, or you might hear me talk about some sensitive subjects. Um, one of the key things I do like to bring up as an example is racism. Uh, he doesn't see racism the same way we do, or probably people who have been involved in like Twitter do. It's, um, oh shit. Like, Racism with him is he used to be a, a a teenage Mexican kid from the from the barrio. Like he he dealt with like white people being racist towards him, and then black people being racist towards him. He had all sorts of he was fighting street gangs, and they were all racially charged. That was his racism, but it wasn't really you know racism as you think it. It was just people hating on each other, beating each other with chains. Whereas if somebody says like 
the N word now on Twitter, they'll get canceled. That's that doesn't seem appropriate to him. It's either you beat someone with a chain or you don't. It's not. It's not as. It's very black and white with him, whereas I think that's a very gray area. If that makes any sense to y'all who's still listening to my rambling. But in terms of that, we do talk about subjects like that, like, I don't know, uh, a new movie or maybe seeing, like, more females in in the moving pictures. He doesn't think of it that way. He doesn't think, like, there's a male-dominant thing. He thinks that, I don't know, it's just how the character is portrayed. I don't think James Bond needs to be a woman for you to enjoy the movie about a super spy. But then there's also that disconnect where it's like, yeah, if you made this character a woman, it would be bad. That's where he kind of comes off of. Not to excuse it, but I also do not want to censor him in his own book. So, if there's anything you're uncomfortable with, feel free to talk about it in the comments. That's kind of what this uh, podcast is meant to spurn conversation. Especially about the differences between generations. Because we even talk about it then, about our, um, our differences. But they come out, they somehow end up... In- talking about similarities as well um like slang and things like that he didn't he doesn't understand like how we think of bussin as a as a word for good but his slang back then was you dig me like you understand me kind of thing like that it's like what does digging have to do with understanding what somebody verbally communicated to you he's like oh i don't really know it's like well we don't know what really bussing correlates to good but it just does so fun stuff like that And he'll even tell some stories from his childhood. I always thought he was a charismatic folk. Um, Everyone always enjoyed listening to his stories. So hopefully that will translate to y'all in the podcast. Uh, Sure. Poo-poo balls, these are. Uh, I don't want conjoined. Well, I do, but I won't be able to get it. I have just been having a lack of drops this game. So we have to keep going. Anyway, with all that said, do not be afraid to tune into the podcast. I really want to start uh, this as a project. I know it's not really synonymous with the Isaac content. I'll still, of course, be making the Isaac content. But as a as a dude who is on YouTube, I would also like to create other content aside from the gaming. Um, and the podcast and the book will be a way to doing that. That being said, there will be a Patreon for the book uh i don't recommend it i I don't recommend normal youtube people going on to the patreon unless they want to support the podcast in some way uh like don't don't do the the second or third tier for the book do do like the first one to help support the podcast because then i can go buy dad a new microphone because right now he's on his phone on a discord app which obviously is not the best um, what do you call it? Not the best sound quality, but it's what we got. Like, I can't, I can't go out there and give him anything extra. And then, um, what else? Yeah, like, mo- do that or subscribe. Even put a comment in the chat. Um, uh, put a comment in the chat of the podcast. Because if y'all give it, like, the YouTube treatment, then... Uh, all these items have been worthless. I, like, I can't... I can't really proc the invader because it happens on hit. Piss. Um, but what do you call it? Yeah, keep an eye out for that. Uh, if y'all enjoy my talking, you'll I think you'll enjoy a lot of my dad. I also have some orphans in uh, some of the podcasts because he's also my brother and his son, so it all correlates. Yeah, I'll teleport for that one. Um, With all that being said, I really hope y'all will join me on this journey with the podcast and the book. I was actually talking to a few people that had their own books published and things like that, and it's actually not that bad. And um, with technology nowadays, you can actually get a few projects off the ground, like just like with Amazon or something like that. In terms of like how easy it is to find a publisher that you can pay like 500 bucks and they'll shoot out like 200 books or something like that paperbacks and then you can even publish it online all that good stuff um i'm hoping to do that and just to give you a little more background on me not doxing myself or anything but i am um 
I guess you would consider Hispanic American. Uh, my grandparents were from Mexico. And they came over here, built a house, and then raised a family of like... Hold on. Junior, Norma, Berta. They raised like a family of four, and then they had like... Almost like three kids apiece, so... We're a real bussin' family. Holy shit. Go get him, Big Chub! Finally got perfection. One of the better items I got in this run. Um... So, they kind of grew up in not a ghetto, it was like a family-oriented ghetto, but like I was saying before, there were times where, like... You know, droves of white and black people would come across the railroad tracks and, like, threaten to beat each other with chains, and they would. Because, you know, that's just how they were back then. If that happened nowadays, people would be, like, drug out in the streets. Or, you know, there'd be, like, a mob generating, depending on who got beat and with what. Not so much asking questions on why people were beating each other with chains, but that was just what was going on. Mmm, I'll buy it. Oh god. Kill him! Kill! I really don't want to waste my life on this. That's a pretty good one. Kill! Little chub actually is helpful for this boss. Cool. And Soul of Apollyon definitely popped off there. Yeah, with all that stuff being said, I'm excited to share this project with y'all. And if y'all have any thoughts about it or want to hear certain things or have any recommendations for the show, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. I want y'all to be a little more generous with the comments. I know y'all do it for the algorithm's sake and all that, but... Like I said, I would love to conversate with y'all. This was the horse pill. I want to see what it was. Oh. Uh, I guess that would have been a waste of money. Secret room? It's... Mm, what is this room? I'm actually surprised the secret room's not there. I guess I could try for a different one. Cool. Getting a spicy run going. Uh, let me try to find one more key before I bring it back. Hey, that's a fact. A hey, run it back. Fuck. He tried to cut me off. Key. Come on. Larry, more like Daddy. There we go. I do have the bombs for it, so... Right. And then... Possible secret room? Now! I've been amnesiaed! Oh, I forgot I have Mr. Me. I should be using that. I know the boss is gonna be top to the left, but I should come back to my shop. Bitch! I ain't doing that. Oh my god. I needed speed. If I do end up using the arrow walk, it will definitely help for the lamp. If I'm going to hold it that long. Very possible, considering the drops that I've been getting this game. All right. Wait, 
barely juked him. That's a really good item. Fuck. Hopefully there's enemies in here? Nope. I guess I could take duality and not worry about it. Sure. It's the it's the equivalent. Um I could have gone in the shop, but I need to make time. Free curse room. Oh my god. Poo pee pee gaga shower. Really upsetting. Hopefully that's in line with one of my rooms. What the fuck? Oh, there's a little haunt. Where'd he come from? I thought it was a little chub. I wasn't even looking at him. Yay. That's actually really good for me. Hopefully I can still get the chance. That way I can just come into the angel room and still get a special, special secret room. Yo. Nice. Uh, I have the charges for it, so I'm just gonna use them. Thank you. Fuck. Also, what's with these big dick rooms? This is actually stinky, like, how big the, this floor is. They're tracking from that angle. Uh, still need to find my shop. That would be nice. I'll come off of it. This is probably the boss. Wheat. Oh my god, fuck this map. Oh yeah. Hey, I'll actually take it for the trinket. Literally, like, ruined my chances for boss rush. There's no reason for this floor to be this big. See, again, there's no reason for this. I'm mad. I'm p 
pissed. Sorry if y'all hear me, I'm chewing. I just got off of work from a 12 hour shift and I did not eat. Nice. 20 rib did work. Where's my... Oh, does it count as me going in there? What the... Ooh! I hate this game. These are got speed. Yo. Fuck, I forgot about that. I could still make it. Again with the bullshit though, look at this stuff. Oh no, I don't want that. I have to walk all the way around. <laughs> Dream's dead, everyone. This has to be a teleport card. Piss, dude. Alright, let's find the shop and everything else since I'm not gonna be able to make boss rush. The lovers. There was a ghost in this room before. Where did he come from? I didn't even see him. Could give me, like, Guppy's eye or something like that. Bitch. On the chest? Yeah. for better days. Oh, lovers. I don't want to go on the right side of the map. Fuck me. Cool, cool. Um, I'll buy this. I'll actually... Probably take this just because I can get devil deals, uh, devil deal items, and have duality. So we'll check it. I just got bopped by a little chub. Ah, fucker. Stay right there, boy. Yes, sir. Fort baby. Fuck me. I could have just left. I do I do need a shop though. I'm gonna launch those. Drops on this game have been terrible. Thank you. Gee, I just found a better item. Damn it. So, yeah. Quite the run. Hope y'all have seen what I'm doing with 
Oh, the Tinder Skull is right there. I could have had boss rush. It's not kind of. Whoa, how did you do that? Oh, shit. What the fuck? I'll buy it. No, get the fuck out. The stars. I do have a max tears rate. Which is pretty good. Oh, and I got sent right next to the... Hell yeah, baby. Not the worst one. Yo. Sweet. That was a 75% chance. Jesus. I only got the hundo percent, but I could have had so many, like, angel deals. Actually vile how many I didn't get. Marbles doesn't do shit. Because I can't get hit. Free secret room, or free curse rooms, but doesn't equate to anything. I seriously haven't gotten anything from my ability as lost. You do get technically, like, free curse rooms. I'm gonna say there's a secret room up here. There was not. Shit. I'll eat that. Yeah, I don't care. The maw tattoo, which eh. What is this floor layout? Could give me the compass. I'm sorry, little one. <laughs> That boy did. I'm surprised. Fart baby. I didn't know fart baby was a projectile blocker. Fuck the devil. Sure. Thank you, sir. That's funny game. I be a bastard? I'm gonna be a bastard. That's how my runs always end. Grab in here, though. There's no fucking... What? I can't use this. Ah, I didn't mean to take it! Fuck it. I 
Oh, that was a little chub block shot, I didn't know that. Woo, baby, I'm defense. Oh, that's Good job, my baby. What? I'm a little bit mad. <laughs> Bitch. That's bullshit, bro. I like this attack pattern a little more than the previous one. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. He's cutting me off. It's bullshit. What the heck? Oh. Rage is not <laughs> I 
even going on with the projectiles. Ah, you bitch. Oh, the soul saved me there. If I can get a little further with my... Bird baby, save me! I got him. Fuck it. You just needed eight, eight tiers, right? That's all you need. Dumb bitches. Uh, I don't have any keys either, so this is... This is real poopy. I deserve a like, comment, subscribe for that. I ain't dick compared to Hush. <laughs> Fucking hate it. It's interesting. Ah, yeah. Thing. Only one. I should fix this because it's actually really good uh, active for the lost. If I lost my mantle there, that would have been terrible. I'm gonna lose my mantle. Yo! Oh, 
I forgot. Cool, bro. All right. Cool, cool. Need one more guppy item. I didn't know he would do that. I would like him to just dash me. I actually want to keep Razor because I could I can do that and get my tears rate like maxed out here. No cat balls for real. So while I do enjoy M, I do like the power boost for the uh, DPS upgrade it, uh, Dull Razor can give me. But thank you, M. Any kind of chest. God, he launched that spider at me. Yes, sir. Getting up there. That wasn't cool. Good thing I had the intruder's effect on that one. Die. Die. I can't get rid of nine lives, it's my survivability. And I only have one away from Guppy, so you know. It'd be stupid to get rid of nine lives. Even if it only has two more procs on it. At that point though, I'm hoping to have a full charge on Oop. Good job, Fart Baby. Uh what was I needing? Full charge on the door razor, like I do now. Nice. Let's see how we do. Need to get on the other side of him. Yep. Oh, 
Yo! Oh, I got lucky. Die. Oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm not taking any more chances. If y'all enjoyed the run, guys, give me a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. It lets me bring you more content. Keep an eye out for the podcast. should be coming out tomorrow. I cannot wait for y'all to see it, and I hope y'all enjoyed as much as I do. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.